What is going on YouTube? The internet is raving. Tom Holland has just been cast as Spider-Man. I'm personally excited. Not because I'm a fan of Tom Holland, because the other person in talk was Aja Butterfield, Asa Butterfield, however the fuck you say his name. The little irritating fuck from Ender's Game. I hated that movie. I thought it was fucking stupid. I thought he attributed to a lot of that. I'm so glad he wasn't picked. That honestly feels like what Sony was going for. Sony always has weird picks for casting choices. <laughs> Does anybody else agree, other than Andrew Garfield, which other character was perfectly cast? I mean, you could argue J. Jonah Jameson from the original series, but I don't think anyone else... Some people didn't like Andrew Garfield. I thought he, I thought he was cool. He was way better than Tobey Maguire. Never, never really got into Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. It was kind of one of those things where you just gotta... You like Spider-Man, so you gotta force yourself to like Tobey Maguire for the duration of the movie. I don't like Tobey Maguire and anything else he's been in, really. But what has he done, really? He, he did Sea Biscuit, and they cast him that, and they, they thought because he was Spider-Man that people were going to go see a movie about fucking Sea Biscuit. This whole Spider-Man thing is just insanity to me. Because this is Sony's third attempt at making the Spider-Man universe. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it was bad, but I don't think it was reboot bad. I think they still could have came back. All they had to do was capitalize on everything. They were trying so hard to rush their cinematic universe. <laughs> that they just fucked it up. But that's okay. And they decided to be LeBron James for a minute and they made the decision to go ahead and team up with the MCU. It was a smart decision. So now, in 2018, we'll have Spider-Man The New Avenger. And, Sp and the new Spider-Man is going to have a role in Captain America's Civil War. A lot of people are saying that Captain America's Civil War is overcrowded. Now, a lot of these people that are saying that the movie is overcrowded are the DC fans that are all for Batman v Superman. Now, me personally, I've always been more of a Marvel fan. I'm not a Marvel fan fanboy, but I'm not for that DC vs. Marvel fanboy back and forth. I don't get into all that, but, but these DC fans, they get on my case when I'm constantly telling them, hey, you got too many people in this movie, and they say, Captain America. Okay, well check this out, player. This is the third Captain America movie. This is like the 11th or 12th movie in this franchise. And Marvel, they always wanted their movies to be just like a comic book, where anybody can show up at any given time in any person's movie. And plus, want the Avengers divided in two halves. Cap's team versus Iron Man's team. In order for them to have their own team, you're going to need a lot of people in there. So we're getting a couple of new people and we're getting a lot of established people. This is very good. However, you got Batman v Superman. You really can't decide what you want this movie to be. It started out as Man of Steel 2 and then they went ahead and changed it to Batman v Superman and then they delayed the production a whole year. And now you want everybody from Justice League to be in the movie? I'm not saying that the movie's gonna fail. I'm gonna be there to watch it day one. I just don't want them to throw too much into what really is their first movie. You got Man of Steel as the first movie in their universe, but Man of Steel, unlike Iron Man, it really just felt like that one film. Whereas with the Marvel movies, we've always known there was gonna be an Avengers movie. Even in the first Iron Man, you got you got Agent Coulson from S.H.I.E.L.D. And then at the end, you got Nick Fury, who attempts to recruit Iron Man. Back to Man of Steel. It just feels like a Superman Origins movie. Like if Christopher Nolan were to make Superman. That's pretty much how Man of Steel felt. It didn't feel like the start of the DC Cinematic Universe. If that's what they're attempting to do with Batman v Superman, then I guess you know it is needed for them to stack up everybody. You know, they had an animated release not that long ago called Justice League War. In this animated feature, it was like a reboot of the Justice League. You start out, I think it's Batman and Green Lantern that are butting heads in Justice League War. And eventually this comes out to be like a Justice League Origins. To me, when, when I watched the movie, I, I instantly thought, okay, DC's probably going to use this animated film as their template for their feature film. And basically, all the Avengers come together to fight the force of Doomsday. If you guys haven't seen it, be sure to check it out and let me know if you think that's what DC is going to do. So we got so we got these two movies. 
They're almost identical in a sense. You got the two biggest heroes going against each other. Batman and Superman, Iron Man, and Captain America. Iron Man and Captain America are the biggest superheroes in the MCU. I know they're not the biggest Marvel characters, but since the movies came out, their popularity has increased. So as of right now, they are the biggest characters in the Marvel Universe, going head to head. Both movies are overcrowded. Both movies have a lot of people. I just feel like Civil War is more about two factions, you know, a bunch of the heroes agreeing with Iron Man and a bunch of the other heroes agreeing with Captain America. You have to have two separate teams. But in this movie, Batman v Superman, where it's Batman is worried about Superman being too much for the, for the planet, you know, or whatever. That's one man versus another man. You don't really need the team in there to back it up. I feel like DC's gonna go in there and try to blow their load in the first movie. However, I feel like they could get lucky. I still feel like they're kind of rushing things. Alright, so that's enough of the back and forth. Let me know what you guys think about the overcrowdedness in Batman v Superman and Captain America Civil War. And go ahead and let me know your thoughts on Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Who did you want to be the next Peter Parker? And if you guys haven't seen my complete collection video, be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link to that in the description box. And until the next time I see you, stay true and stay blue. Oh yeah. I hope I make it home tonight. Make it home. I hope I make it home tonight.